Okay, good evening, everybody. Dobro večer. Um, today we are here for the artist talk with uh, Olya Grubic. Um, do you think is hosting this event um, in line with the Rehearsing Feminist Futures platform. My name is Jana, I'm part of Titink and I will do a short introduction. I will also uh, be the one to mute, unmute your mics and um, to tell you how, what are the rules uh, for this uh, artist talk today. Um, so um, the artist talk is organized, uh, part, is part of the platform for performing arts within the Festival for Feminist Art and Culture, Firstborn Girl or Prvo Pazinsko, which we organize uh, for nine years in Skopje, uh, North Macedonia. Uh, the platform activities are also related to the Women for Women project, or in short, WOW project, uh, which is, and the Pitch Preach project, a lot of projects, um, and is intended, are intended to contribute to advancing public interest in gender issues and uh, contribute to greater presence of women in the public sphere. Um, the platform uh, Rehearsing Feminist Futures is financially supported by Quina Till Quina Foundation, Frida, the Young Feminist Fund, and we are doing this in cooperation with uh, Mot Theatre Festival. Um, shortly about the WOW project, as this is also part of that, uh, it is a project that uh, our organization does in partnership with City of Women or Mesto Žensk from Ljubljana, Vox Femina from Zagreb and Outlandish Theatre Platform from Dublin. The project is supported by Creative Europe. So after this short introduction, um, now I will invite uh, Kika Kristina Lilovac, the um, platform coordinator, to share a few words about what we have been doing since the summer onwards. And uh, to then invite also uh, Olya Grubic, uh, who will have the artist talk. Needless to say, we are very happy to host Olya. We are fans of her and uh, we really hope to host her uh, with one of her performances in Skopje soon. Um, after Olya's presentation, there will be some time, as with all Zoom talks, uh, for some questions and answers. You can uh, put the questions in the chat and we'll make sure that uh, Olya answers them after she finishes with her presentation. So thank you everybody and Kika, the Zoom floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Jana, for opening the, the event and for organizing all this with uh, heart and passion. Uh, and for everybody that uh, are joining us uh, this evening, we can, uh, really assure you that this is not going to be just another one uh, Zoom uh, event that you are going to follow that we really believe that uh, is going to be uh, a great experience for you this evening. As Jana mentioned, uh, the uh, Talk with Olya is organized within the Rehearsing Feminist Future platform for performing arts, uh, considering not just the internal development of the Festival of Feminist Culture and Action Prvo Pazijensko, but more importantly, the developments of the wider uh, political and cultural context, as well as the challenges imposed by the global pandemic. Uh, last year, we decided to transform the performance program of the festival into an uh, artistic platform, uh, which is based on solidarity, co-learning uh, and cooperation, and to support through all phases of the artistic process to local independent uh, women artists to develop uh, their own uh, performance projects. Uh, the initial motivation was to uh, contribute to the quilling of absence of women authors, staging women's experience and deconstruction of gender representation on the local art scene, uh, of limited opportunities for women performance artists to present their work to the wider and diverse audiences, the underestimation of the social relevance and uh, needs of the local independent cultural scene and the insufficient and inadequate support provided for it by the relevant institutions, as well as the deep effect of the COVID pandemic 
academic, uh, on the already precarious position of the independent women artists and cultural workers. In the last few months, uh, actresses uh, Angela Stojanovska, actress uh, Angela Stojanovska and dancer uh, Jovana Zajkova supported from the dancer and choreographer uh, Victoria Ilioska and theater director Biljana Radinoska are working on their projects uh, that will premiere next month on the International Theater Festival MOT uh, in Skopje. As part of this uh, co-learning uh, component, uh, we are happy to welcome uh, this evening uh, the visual artist and performer Olya Grubic to uh, share her practice uh, with us and maybe uh, just uh, uh, let uh, Angela, Jovana and all of us following today kind of uh, recognize our own uh, inspirations, challenges, struggles, uh, needs and dreams in our uh, work in the performance. Olya, as Diana said, the Zoom floor is now yours. Hi, uh, hello everyone and th uh, thank you for inviting me uh, to this Zoom conversation. Uh, I would also be happy, um, I would also be happy to join you uh, in real life, uh, hopefully soon. Um, so uh, I'm Olya Grubic, a visual artist and performer. I was born in Pula, but uh, I very soon I saw that uh, I don't have anything, uh, I don't have a perspective in that city. So uh, I went to study art in uh, Ljubljana. And uh, in Ljubljana, I graduated from Academy of Visual Arts, AVA. Um, and now I'm uh, the most interested in uh, drawing and in um, performance art. Uh, I also was working uh, for some time with the uh, queer cabaret, Cabaret Tiffany. Uh, but now after some time I had to uh, stop because my schedule just doesn't let me anymore. So I will guide you through my uh, works, through my portfolio. Um, first, um, when I decided to start with the performance art, it was for me somehow that both performance and drawing is very uh, similar or very basic. And I'm interested in these uh, basic uh, things in life that we need to survive or to just exist. Um, so my first uh, performance was uh, part of uh, one uh, larger uh, thing that was uh, like a happening, Phantom of Identity. And uh, this performance happened, uh, it was organized uh, uh, from Kitsch um, um, and uh, also Via Negativa. And this is also the first uh, uh, time I uh, started working also with, with uh, Via Negativa. Uh, in this project, we were, uh, our subject was identity. And uh, I decided that uh, I will, uh, look at myself and what is my identity and what I am. And somehow I felt stuck in this, that I am Olya Grubic, that I am, uh, then I was 24 years old and uh, was in two days old. Uh, and that I am the property of uh, my mother and my father, because this is actually how law uh, defines me or any human that is not actually woman that is not married. So I uh, put myself on uh, a ladder and this text, I was naked and this text was uh, uh, projecting above me uh, that, uh, how, that was describing me, how I am or um, that I am like uh, a nice person, uh, that I, am, uh, I broke my leg once and uh, like what are my uh, bad things, my, what, I, what is uh, important like in my life. And then uh, on one other place, I uh, put one of my uh, things that I was wearing a lot, that was uh, like a bag that uh, 
uh, kept me somehow safe. And so I made like installation of uh, person and uh, my property, but also being someone else's property. Uh, this is how I problematized, uh, problematized uh, identity in this uh, performance. Uh, this second is uh, intermedia installation and I uh, made it with uh, my brother and uh, two other friends, Julia Molina and Borat Bucinel. Uh, in this project, the focus was on uh, <laughs> uh, psychological health or, uh, or like the story behind this project was uh, schizophrenia and uh, my uncle who has this hard uh, uh, shape of uh, schizophrenia. Uh, this was a project that grew on his stories, uh, his stories that were that talked about uh, how uh, microchips work, how uh, because he was uh, he was an economic and uh, uh, very technical person. And he uh, now sees all the, like, it's a com big confusion. And through this big confusion, I uh, made some drawings that were explaining his story, like how from human, these drawings, uh, this uh, um, story took these animals, like the fly that comes to us and puts a microchip and then flies somewhere else or like a cockroach or something. So I had, uh, we had, uh, like dead uh, bugs in uh, the exhibition and also drawings that were in interconnected and that explain this story. But also in the main space, there was a big installation with uh, more than thousand balloons uh, that were hanging like a big cloud and uh, each person would get uh, to the middle of this big cloud and uh, they would, uh, in the middle, they would see this box that was turning. And in the mid in this box that was turning, there was videos of each of us, me, my brother, Julia, and uh, Borut, how we were passing through these uh, balloons, uh, which is somehow also like explanation of a feeling how, um, people with the mental illness, uh, they have to go through this uh, unknown space uh, and somehow to find their, um, their meaning and their understanding of their situation and how to live with it. Uh, during this performance and uh, actually during this project, we also invited um, uh, some people from Shent. This is a like a institution for uh, helping and working with the people who are mentally ill. And uh, we invited them also for popping these balloons and also to talk about this exhibition and to see this exhibition. And uh, we had a really nice talk with them. First, they were afraid to uh, pop these balloons, but then when they all got needles and they were explained how to do it and they started doing it. It was like a big uh, release to all of us to have this experience. Um, yeah, under we can see, uh, if we go a little bit down, we can see the drawings that were, and the flies that were uh, there. Uh, then the next one, uh, the next performance was, uh, uh, the name was uh, To the Last Drop. And it was uh, first premiered uh, with uh, Via Negativa on, uh, it was made on Via Negativa Laboratory, which is uh, like a platform for uh, testing performative uh, material. And um, here I, uh, here this performance was about uh, abortion uh when i was about 24 or 5 years old i had an abortion and uh since i come from croatia and croatia is a bit more conservative country or was than slovenia um, for me this was like uh, 
N not hard to do it because of myself, but hard to do it because of society and because of uh, people who protest uh, in front of hospitals and everything. So I decided to talk about uh, this uh, problem, not problem, but this uh, this thing we have to have. <laughs> uh, so here I came to the stage and I uh, started talking my story how. Um, how I came to uh, the doctor and uh, how the nurse treated me and that she said that she was trying to convince me to have a baby and uh, all these problems that come <laughs> when you want to solve something. Uh, so this story was going and uh, then I invited someone from audience to hold this uh, condom full of water. It was uh, four liters of water inside. And then I started changing my clothes and the other person would uh, continue uh, reading my story. And the story was uh, my path from the moment I found out that I am pregnant until the moment that I went on abortion. And uh, then I was, let's say, clean again. Um, here this path was described as uh, like very banal thing, things happened to me or uh, when I came to uh, my doctor then uh, when they uh, when they gave me uh, uh, this uh, to, that I fall asleep uh, then the story starts changing and uh, the doctors they treat this abortion as a very banal which actually somehow it is and it has to be um so here uh, then i was while the other person was telling the story that uh, i went through well while i was sleeping on the in the hospital then i was thinking uh, this water from the balloon and uh, here is also here was also the first time that i realized how performance can be dangerous and that you really have to be prepared and ready and understand and know what you are doing uh, because of the amount of water I, I of course had to puke um, but I didn't do it that time on stage so uh, the performance was only that I drank uh, four liters of water and I was uh, then without a baby Uh, then the next one uh, was, uh, I will not, not talk a lot about this one, but uh, it was for, uh, again, with uh, Via Negativa, and again, it was uh, made on a Via Negativa lab. Um, it was called uh, Sugar. And uh, we were asking ourselves when uh, the, the sugar uh, turns in poison and when something that looks sweet can be uh, actually harmful for us. Um, I will go uh, down, let's go down a bit. Uh, here is uh, like a presentation of Acne Vulgaris, which was uh, a few years ago, a performer duo that I was in with uh, Yerne Shkov. We also worked together in uh, Cabaret Tiffany and uh, we were working on, on uh, different uh, texts that we took. Uh, usually from uh, LGBTIQ plus artists. And then on this text, we somehow decided to perform it live. And uh, these performances happened in some uh, very alternative uh, places or events. And it was very absurd, but also very nice somehow. Um, then we are almost at the part uh, of uh, my drawings. Um, this was an image took for uh, Mladina for one interview that I had. Um, it was actually for the project that I have more down, Psychological Cannibals. Uh, this is a project that uh, I made. It, it, was like a, it was a book, black book of uh, censorship because uh, at that moment of my career and life, I was dealing a lot with the uh, uh, Facebook taking off my profile because I, I had a nipple, a female nipple on some images or 
like I was I was dealing a lot with censorship, and then I decided that I will make something, and something that I made made was all like just censorship, and it was a black book with uh, microchips inside, like uh, uh, they were placed uh, randomly. And there was seven of these uh, microchips, the same ones as when you open the a birthday card and then it sings. But on this one, the sound that uh, you could hear was uh, or political speech or uh, some war actions or uh, church, not church, but religious uh, songs. And this was all meshed up like uh, one sound. So you could uh, look at the black book and just see hear these uh, explosions of what is actually censoring our normal uh, life. Uh, the next one is uh, Red Web, which I made with uh, my friend and uh, uh, co-worker Jiva Petric. Uh, this was also presented on uh, City of Women festival and uh, it was made uh, with uh, axioma was a producer of the uh, red web and this is this was it's always complicated uh, to explain this project because it's uh, it is a lot <laughs> uh, it looked like uh, we had uh, one room that was a room for uh, people to, to come in and there was uh, christina sitting there uh, she was uh, offering uh, the audience uh, with some alcohol or with some food that they could experience also after or that they could see me after in. Then she would also explain to them how they have to act and that they will uh, see me on the big screen, but uh, they will have to communicate with me through the computers and they would also be asked to do something to each other. And then... Uh, Three, uh, then there was another room where uh, three people could enter maximum and each of them separately. So in this room, uh, this is the room that you can see under yeah, in this picture uh, that I'm, uh, this is already my room, but the picture before was this room that they could see me on the big screen and they would communicate with me. And the first thing I would ask them to uh, make uh, a statement that they will tell only truth and nothing but the truth. So they had to say this, uh, repeat after me, and then uh, other two other people who were sitting there, and if the middle one was new, then they had to uh, tell me if this one uh, uh, raised the right uh, hand or not, uh, and I could then decide if to keep him or to uh, kick him out. Um, and then there was another room that was uh, only behind the curtain, but people thought that this room is somewhere, I don't know, in some other location that I'm at home or somewhere. And in this room, there was uh, me and there was Jiva filming me. And I had different actions and different stories that uh, were actually uh, all somehow connected with uh, being female and uh, with the uh, female problems or with some female Im images of uh, uh, female that we have in our uh, lives and in, in our society. And then I was telling stories and I was uh, also doing some actions. And uh, in, mean, in meanwhile, I would ask them uh, to smell each other's feet or to uh, um, spray each other or uh, to maybe kiss each other or to do something to each other. And then uh, also I was asking them some questions if they like something or if they hate it or uh, whatever. And then uh, I would also decide that someone has to leave and if he or she didn't want it to leave, then the others should kick them out because I would not continue if it's not. So this was like um, some chatterbait like performance, <laughs> uh, performance installation. Mm. Because I uh -huh. here is yeah the next one is uh, there will be no bread from this flower also um, uh, happened on Via Negativa laboratory 
but on this uh, performance, I made like two scenes that are, uh, the first one is with this bread. I was, uh, we were making uh, dough or bread and it, it was only female uh, performers. Uh, we were making this dough and then we uh, uh, wrote uh, hope with these letters that we uh, that we made letters with the dough and we uh, made this uh, hope uh, sign and then we covered it and we put uh, the reflectors to uh, for hope to rise with the, the flower to form. Um, on this performance, it's uh, it's about woman, body, child, future, hope, uh, nation, country, and uh, also in this performance, uh, I made uh, one more scene that we will see after. Uh, so this was a lot. Huh, this is this is something in the middle, which was like uh, a short. Uh, performance or installation about uh, fake news and um, what happens when the artist or hope is gone. And uh, here I made uh, my eulogy and I came, uh, this was like a crime scene uh, that happened and uh, I came from somewhere else and I read my eulogy and I, uh, where I explained what happened to the artist and um, why this happened. Uh, so the next one is then uh, organic waste. This also happened uh, on Via Negativa and uh, that year I started uh, some uh, sketches for uh, Naked Life, the performance that will come after. Uh, here we were dealing with uh, uh, with actually life and uh, with the human being uh, something that is uh, creating this pollution actually and uh, how we are uh, uh, involved in all this uh, stuff that is happening to us. Um, the next one is uh, still life which uh, happened also in the one that, that, that there was bread in, but I keep them um, apart. Um, in this uh, performance, I uh, come to the stage and I flip myself uh, down and I make uh, a, a bouquet or ikebana in my vagina. And this is somehow for me, uh, some moment when I uh, switched also my direction um, and I started uh, connecting a lot uh, nature and uh, woman. And this is uh, because like uh, I, I cannot escape from my body and I cannot escape from what the nature of my body is. And uh, I started feeling these uh, feelings a lot more and uh, they were yeah, a lot more present uh, in me. So here I just make this uh, beautiful uh, arrangement and then um, I make also a bow, little bow on this and then this stays as somehow uh, a metaphor for woman now that it's not the best, but somehow we are, we are stuck in this. <laughs> then uh, the next one is already Naked Life, uh, which is my first uh, bigger uh, performance. Uh, here we are asking ourselves how, how to exist, how to exist being a woman, how, how, how to, <laughs> face every day the same uh, problems. In this performance, we the main uh, scene is that we are grating uh, vegetables. Uh, we start this performance as uh, that we are naked and we are holding uh, some house plants and we are just moving uh, through the space, trying to find our uh, position somewhere 
in, in under the sun. Then we come to the stage and we come to the, this big pile of uh, vegetable and we start grating and uh, we make images, different images of, uh, uh, of this, uh, of, of, of our lives, yes. Um, and we also have one uh, scene with flutes um this uh, while grating uh, it seems like we are going to grate forever and it seems like we are going to grate everything uh, phallic like uh it it is somehow uh, also a protest but not just a protest it is a strange uh, feeling that connects us somehow uh, we also have this uh, flute scene in this performance that uh, we are just breathing through flutes that I somehow see as a call, um, like a call to end or to realize where we are and how we are dealing with, uh, with life and how we are dealing uh, to each other, with each other and how uh, we do or not take care about everything that is uh, surrounding us. Um, next under, I have uh, Cabaret Tiffany. Yeah. Cabaret Tiffany is, uh, was, uh, I'm not uh, anymore because of my time. I don't have time to be a part of it anymore, but uh, it is a, like a platform for LGBTIQ uh, people who are interested in performing and it's a very um, colorful um, cabaret. Um, in my my uh, part of this cabaret was somehow uh, I made a, a, an act, uh, Artistas, uh, which is also, again, very connected with the female uh, history or with history of representing uh, women through art. And it's about uh, two, uh, two curators. One is always um, uh, like this uh, very high curator, usually British curator who knows everything. And the other one is more like a second class citizen curator who is trying to follow up uh, the mainstream, but somehow cannot. And uh, this one is always uh, uh, very funny. <coughs> uh, the second curator is usually like uh, our Balkan curators. Uh, we had from uh, Spain, from Portugal, from Bosnia, from uh, Croatia, I think from Slovenia and like a lot of different. Uh, curators and they are usually uh, drag queens. Um, and my part in here is to be this artwork that uh, is represented or actually sold on this auction that they make. And I change to uh, three artworks each time. And it's always some artwork that, uh, 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 that uh, presents uh, female issues. And the curators then explain the, which are these female issues and they try to sell this uh, art uh, on uh, like uh, non-imaginable prices. And uh, always uh, one of uh, the artworks that is present in these uh, artistas is always uh, Marina Abramovic because she is of course also, she comes from these spaces and she is of course a big, uh, name in performance art and I wanted somehow to uh, to introduce her to people who would maybe not see her work but like this they can uh, start understanding also through some other uh, not maybe not, not so formal uh, uh, works um, yeah then later we down. Yeah, we have uh, my drawings. Uh, I I like to draw and I like to perform because this is somehow the most primal uh, mediums that uh, I could uh, find. Um, in my drawings, I usually just uh, use the line 
and uh, some colors. And uh, I, lo I uh, use a lot of uh, naked bodies and uh, naked body for me, it's like something that uh, we all have that we can all relate to, but very differently because of our backgrounds, where we come from and how we were taught to do. Um, I also did the series with the uh, naked bodies with the um, animal heads. Um, and uh, here I was trying maybe to find some similarities or um, differences between uh, species. Um, but yeah, in drawing, I'm the most interested in, uh, in just a line or like in something, some strange uh, switches that can happen in these drawings. Uh, now my latest uh, uh, series are a series of vaginas with uh, fruit and vegetable that somehow grows through from the performances that we saw before, uh, the still life, this uh, bouquet, or uh, also naked life, the performance. Uh, on drawings, I uh, some people can see them uh, as pornography, and they uh, they they do some think that this is pornography. But for me, this is far from pornography. Uh, this is something else. And I think that we can see, like um, a lot of people also thought that uh, men did their these drawings because there is a vagina and there is something put in a vagina. And I was interested how to switch this because a lot of um, a lot of uh, works that females are represented on uh, men uh, men did them. So how to change this uh, perspective and how to um, how to do this as a woman and how people accept if a woman does something like this. This is all also very interested and uh, connected. And now we can also go through uh, my last performance, uh, performative installation, uh, Breed, which is on a web page. Yeah, uh, with Breed, uh, this happened, uh, this performance happened uh, in uh, Photopub on April uh, this year. Uh, and although it maybe uh, looks a lot like it's about uh, Corona and about, uh, um, uh, yeah, exactly about Corona, it is not. It's more, uh, we were standing, uh, I had an idea that a lot that uh, that is that was focused only on uh, breathing, and I uh, made this scene that uh, I was naked with the uh, bio bag on my face and I was breathing. And uh, then the whole picture started working only with this uh, bag and with my breath. And this was very interesting to me. And I wanted to see a bigger picture with a lot of people doing the same thing. And here we used a lot of uh, different bodies, different body shapes. It's not, uh, we are not all the same. We are all different. And each of us was uh, breathing as they could breathe. Uh, and we were just breathing. So people would come and they would see how we breathe differently, when we have some problems, when we are okay um, and everything. So the first day of this performance uh, was we were stopped by police and uh, police came and they, they stopped us. <laughs> they stopped our action of breathing uh, because of uh, public nudity. And uh, we had to go on court, but now, uh, like last month, uh, we got uh, the end result from court that we are not guilty for doing practicing art. <laughs> so this is, yeah, this is also like a big step uh, that I think uh, happened after um, censorship that I had and everything that. I actually had to fight for something that, that is the most common that we all have, 
and it's our body. And here maybe I would like to open um, the questions or Uh, thank you, Olya, for your great presentation. Uh, we are also receiving and uh, following the comments that we are receiving on uh, the live stream on uh, Facebook. Uh, and uh, I'm sure that uh, maybe even the, the, our friends and colleagues present on directly on the Zoom call, uh, if some of them has some question, maybe I can share um, Maybe I can first share its uh, comment, but there are also questions from Anna Veda following us on uh, the Facebook live stream. Uh, she says, I haven't heard about Olya before. Very inspireful things. I uh, have an impression that she's revealing all the taboos, especially about women and femininity. Was it easy to talk, cross express, cross perform in this patriarchal society? And what's your next project? Uh, thank you uh, for the question. Uh, of course, it's uh, hard <laughs> to uh, work, perform or do anything in this patriarchal society. Um, I somehow had a feeling also when I was uh, little that I have to fight this and that if I don't fight it, then people around me will still treat me uh, that I like uh, the way that I don't want to be treated. So I decided to uh, go through this uh, hard path of uh, breaking uh, taboos and uh, trying to um, involve people to think about uh, these taboos. What, what are the problems of our taboos? Who, who is the problem? Are we problem <laughs> or uh, there is a bigger problem or like what, how can we all together uh, continue our lives here together <laughs> without uh, fucking up more? Um, my uh, next projects will be um, now uh, more like I'm all, all the time somehow divided in uh, performance and uh, in drawings. And uh, but my what is driving me now is more uh, direction of ecology. Um, and uh, now I'm a bit stuck in uh, Timothy Morton uh, hyper objects. And I think like, <laughs> It, that everything around us became uh, such a hyper object that we don't understand anything anymore. Although there is a lot of uh, thinkers around us, we are not thinking enough. We are just doing and producing something that we don't even know how we will uh, get rid of when uh, it's out of use anymore. So I'm... <laughs> Uh, somehow I'm dealing with uh, understanding uh, the situation we uh, we found ourselves in. Uh, thank you, Olya. I'm sure that Anna is satisfied uh, with the with the answer. Uh, she also mentions that uh, this uh, presentation kind of reminded or of your work kind of reminded her of Marina Abramovic. Uh, yeah, and this is, I heard this uh, many times, and this is why the, also the reason why I decided to use Marina Abramovic in these uh, artistas, because I, I'm not sure why I can, I, why I hear these connections a lot, maybe because of the look or because of the, uh, how I work inside of, or understand performance. Um, Thank you for this <laughs> compliment. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I think Marina Abramovic is an interesting person and it's interesting that it came from this area and that uh, this is definitely something that we have to be aware of that anywhere in the world, something interesting can happen and we have to uh, make 
some room, <laughs> some safe area for this to happen. Um, this is, yeah, uh, this is also why I live now in uh, Slovenia, but I'm still um, not so sure that this is the right place for uh, evolving. <laughs> There is other question uh, I'm receiving in the chat. It's from uh, Angela, one of the artists uh, involved in the platform, and she is she's writing it down. Maybe she wants to 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 ah, here she is. I have written it down. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, it's very crowded. Hi, Olya. I just wanted to you to be able to see me. Uh, I'm in Mokatsu and um, after this I'm having my rehearsal, so I didn't want to speak because of the sound in the background, but I can do it here if the question, if you cannot see the question, Kika. I can see the question, but it's so precious having you. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just thank you. I can paraphrase it. Uh, hi, Olya. Uh, in my project, I am uh, dealing um, and talking about shame. Being ashamed, um, female shame, um, I, I believe that the, um, it's much different than the one the male species feel. Um, and you are dealing with nudity in, in your uh, performances and your work. And what I wanted to ask is, um, has there uh, been a point uh, while you were performing uh, where you, uh, when you felt um, ashamed um of being naked in front of an audience and if that has happened uh what's your process in dealing with it um i i think uh i was like the first time i uh took off my clothes on stage was the performance uh where i was dealing with identity and here i decided that uh <laughs> this is me <laughs> And this, I cannot describe it better, but this is me and this is my identity. And this is how people see me. I'm not sure if I see myself like this, but this is how people see me. So this was the first time uh, when I took off my clothes. And for me, it was, yes, a bit uh, maybe um, shocking. I mean, you have to <laughs> go through this <laughs> if you want to, of course. Uh, and if you think uh, this is necessary. And if this is necessary, then this shame, it's a lot less smaller. It's very small then. And uh, also uh, with shame, I was dealing before when I was uh, a child, uh, we used to go to nudist beaches. And I, so I was, uh, I grew up in a very free uh, uh, mindset. Uh, but in some moment, of course, I stopped being this uh, free uh, child and I started wearing the clothes like uh, no one could see my boobs and I didn't have them and like all this. And this happened because of uh, primary school, because they were trying to push us uh, uh, some ideology in us that they thought it's right. Uh, then I had to break again this uh, shame <laughs> and my mother was re uh, really trying to push me to break this shame, to make me understand that this is not uh, necessary, that uh, this is stupid that I have this shame. And But I had to do it <laughs> somehow to find it my way that uh, I really don't need this and I don't need this. This is me and this is how I am. But and I'm not ashamed of this. I could be ashamed of some other stuff. Yeah. I, Angela is probably still here, but she. I'm here and I said thank you, but I showed it because of the noise. Yeah. But thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you, uh, Angela. Uh, the floor for questions is still open. So if anyone uh, here joining us on Zoom, or maybe if we have something on um, on Facebook, no, still this thing about Marina Abramovic is 
it is what it is there's nothing more than that uh, uh you will yeah the yanas will tell if there is something more on facebook and maybe i'm again asking the the uh from this uh from our uh group here uh if there is any question the group is quiet um Okay, uh, maybe just to keep things going, uh, I will go with these backup questions that we always have for this kind of uh, <laughs> for these occasions. Uh, I um, I wanted to ask you, uh, but but you kind of cover it uh, most uh, during your initial presentation. Um, uh, there there is one thing that came up now when you were talking about the safe uh, spaces, uh, about the safe space uh, that we need to nurture and to be aware of. So for some, so some something can happen. Some uh, uh, someone can work and some art can happen, and we then have an artist like Marina Abramovic. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you about the. Uh, about the resources, about the circumstances that build the, the safe place that for you to uh, for you to work. What is the safe place for you? I, I don't have yet a safe place <laughs> for me to work and live. Uh, and by safe, I mean also uh, I I don't just have enough uh, uh, money. I don't have like uh, I don't have a studio and. A lot of other things uh, is I don't have, but uh, I have <laughs> I have some space uh, where I where I think it's safe somehow to work. But uh, like with this um, police coming to the performances, then it somehow it it's not uh, nurturing the culture. And by nurturing the culture, I mean safe space, like to give artists uh, because they they need money because they need to survive. And we don't have developed markets. And if we don't have markets, then how can we survive on free market if there is no market? And then these people need somehow differently to uh, be included in uh, society and um, like this year we got, because of Corona, we got this help from government, but this is uh, like, it's it's not help. It's more like um, uh, now they, they, you have to control how much you earn that you don't have to return this help. So it's like a, a knife uh, pressed to your uh, neck. Um, and so, yeah, I think uh, we have to make some kind of, uh, space that uh, people don't have to fight uh, for survival and think about survival or art or culture or anything that somehow keeps us alive. Uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, uh -huh, there is, I think that this is one of the Yanas uh, that wants to also comment, so. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ulya, so much for, for this talk. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I also have something more, not like a comment, but uh, an impression of your, um, of your performance that I had the, the chance to see in 2019 uh, on Mr. Jensk Festival uh, in Ljubljana. Uh, so I saw together with the other Jana the uh, Naked Life, Gola Zivljene, which I really hope that we'll have the chance to, to host here uh, for the Skopje uh, public uh, on Torva Pažensko. So I, 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 I just really wanted to share with, with the rest uh, that are here. Um, uh, I don't really have a question, I just wanted to share. Uh, what I felt uh, uh, during your performance, and maybe if you, if I can have your feedback on on uh, uh, my impressions and my, my feelings that I had during the performance, uh, and um, if that can, I don't know, um, uh, have any, I don't know, if, if it's uh, 
not to say the right feeling, but uh, is it uh, that something you expected from spectators or viewers to, to, to feel? So first of all, I, I mean, uh, visually the whole place, the whole space uh, and everything was very powerful. And um, uh, I, I really had, uh, had uh, the feeling that I am into a space that something is really, you know, happening. And I was really excited to see what is going to, to happen next. Um, I really liked the beginning of the, um, of the performance uh, where uh, you have uh, been, the performers were imposing with their bodies uh, through the audience and, you know, being, uh, uh, making uh, maybe uh, some of us uncomfortable a bit and not, to, not knowing what to do during the performance. Uh, other than that, I really felt uh, um, during the performance, uh, which was uh, basically uh, repetitions of uh, the performance grinding the vegetables, uh, a lot of them. <laughs> and uh, I, at first it, uh, I felt uh, humor. Uh, I was laughing because there were like different poses. Um, sometimes they were insinuating uh, sex, uh, uh, sexual activity, sometimes uh, something else, I don't know. And um, I, I, uh, at, as the performance developed, I felt that uh, you felt frustration by the activity that you have to do. Um, so I don't know, these were the feelings that I had because uh, it was uh, in a way so powerful. So can you like comment uh, something about uh, uh, my impressions of the performance? Yeah, uh, we, we did this, uh, I mean, all the performances uh, that happen, that start on Via Negativa Laboratory, is that we, uh, that we there try to uh, show some material on stage and then people comment. So this is the first time we hear someone else, uh, what, the, uh, what th these people see in our work and how we presented it and what they understand about it. So. I am aware what uh, people could think. Of course, uh, always, there is always someone uh, who uh, can uh, surprise you with uh, their thoughts. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, more common maybe that uh, we are, uh, that first you don't know what to do. Here are some naked women with the plants looking at you and you are looking at them and then you are looking to the other people and we all, all no one knows what are we in now and yeah. somehow it's also for us and now more and more because of uh, corona masks and then you cannot see even how people <laughs> express themselves yes. if, they're, if they're laughing or not and for us it's all like we are just watching each other and we have no <laughs> idea how we feel with each other and then when the grating starts um uh, we try to be like um, it's also somehow funny uh, for us to do it and it's sometimes it's fun but after these 25 kilos of vegetable it it becomes just an action and we have to we have to finish this somehow and we still have to do it and we know we have to do it but sometimes you feel the cramp or something and or you cut yourself or like drama can happen, but we still continue doing it. Um, and then at the end with this water and with flutes and everything, how it culminates and how it ends, uh, there, there is, and there I think uh, it has to be some kind of uh, frustration uh, because we are still doing this. <laughs> Although yeah. the performance ended, we are still, <laughs> somehow doing this grating and we do this every day and this is how what is the frustration uh, here yeah well yeah thank you for that i i also know that um the waste from the grinding goes to uh, actually feeding the animals on the farm, <laughs> which is great. I was asking through the performance, what are we going to do with all this waste? <laughs> but yeah, afterwards, uh, yeah, we were collecting. Pigs were happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pigs were happy. And I also uh, had the chance to see that the performers as well, after every perform performance are writing down their feelings or what they have felt uh, during the which is like very, very valuable. Okay, yeah, thanks. That's, that's all from me. Thank you very much. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Jana.
uh, somebody else from I just checked the live stream on Facebook no more questions maybe some of us here on zoom okay we've just one more question uh, it can also be final or just uh, push for other ones uh, let's see uh, it's this question about being a uh, an author not just an artist but an author because uh, most of the projects that you presented are kind of initiated by you are uh, the concept uh, is yours the idea is or is yours so you have this position of an author and yet uh, most of them are also done with uh, a collective a group of other performers uh, uh, and you are do you are performing together with them and as we uh, saw uh, in the example of Naked Life, you are doing the uh, you are doing it uh, together. So I wanted to ask you about this position of author. Uh, do you how do you do you feel in it? Do you mind it? Uh, do you uh, uh, do you try to keep it through the process? Does it uh, uh, does it challenge you in a way, or you just don't think about it? It's not important to you. I just wanted to feel, to to for you to share with us this uh, uh, the feelings about this, if you want. Well, uh, because I'm an artist, I also like to be, of course, an author, and uh, because this is how I communicate with the people, uh, how I express myself. And sometimes I feel for some things that they have to be only uh, that I that I have to be the only author that only I have to produce them. And this is like uh, with drawings. Uh, these are like uh, my space and uh, this is what uh, the, my place of research somehow. And then with performance, I can be the author, but also someone else can be the author and we can all work together on one thing if we are somewhere close to each other or if we understand what we want to um, um, what we want to shape what we want to have at the end so uh, also on via negativa we are uh, dealing a lot with the maybe breaking this authorship and how something uh, looks when someone else does it or um, how to do it but while i work i still try to um, keep uh, all the visual uh, images and uh, conceptual work somehow i try to have uh, one that they have one line and that it's uh, this recognizable um, path or line <laughs> uh, yes thank you I again am asking uh, about uh, questions, maybe. No, no, no. No, nothing on Facebook, also. So let's this one let, let it be final then. <laughs> uh, I, uh, aha, there is, aha, there is this haha. Okay, um, and um, maybe uh, this, since this is a feminist platform for performing uh, uh, arts, I just want to ask you about uh, this uh, gender perspective. If you have to, uh, have to, let's say, if you have to recognize it uh, from the outside, what is the actual gender perspective of uh, Olya Grubic work in performance? Um, I, I never like to define too much uh, about these uh, gender um, issues and also I like to keep it open. But uh, yes, uh, female gender is, is definitely very present in my work. And as I said, I think at the beginning, I cannot escape my body and uh, I cannot escape how people uh, see me in this body. Uh, so if every day I can uh, uh, hear someone commenting my body and uh, something, then this uh, 
makes uh, makes a platform for me to work on and with. So this is how I um, try to uh, maybe also break and open uh, this uh, identifying with too much. So you find it more challenging just to to have to elaborate on that, or does it inspire you more? Or um, I mean, it, it it is inspiring, but uh, it's also I'm um, tr all all the time I'm trying I'm trying to fight with the what my gender uh, uh, defines me with that I have to be a mother, that I have to be a daughter, that I have to uh, wash dishes, that I have to clean the kitchen, and that I have to wear high heels, that I have to fit these jeans, and like all this uh, what society uh, tries to um tries to believe us in it's like i i try to break this and i try to find this pure human that can also be uh interested in something other than uh human thank you olia uh and if there's no more questions, no comments. This is the the point in the conversation that we really, really wanted to thank you for doing this with us and uh, to express this feeling that we cannot wait to have you uh, here in Skopje uh, on Proprajensko or whenever it is convenient for you. And maybe I can now leave the floor to Jana Stardilova to uh, just wrap up. Thank you again from me, Jana. Yeah, hi everybody. Okay, so that was our first artist talk. I'm very happy that we hosted uh, Olya Grubic and I hope the feeling is mutual. Um, we, um, this is this was the second uh, lecture that we had planned in this uh, within the platform uh, but um, we will keep you posted about the two, two performances uh, that uh, the um, artists are developing and uh, they will have their um, their premieres in november so this was all from us thank you for joining thank you olia for everything and um, See you in the next uh, at the next artist talk, I guess. Bye.